We are in 2021 now, and at the end of last year, there were several drama awards from Korean broadcasting companies, namely MBC, SBS, and KBS. Let us look a bit closer on some of the winners, also while looking back on the related drama series. Park Hae Jin received the Grand Award for his role in the series Conde in Turn, a drama which also won the Drama of the Year Award from MBC. He played as Kyol Chan, the head of marketing team at a ramen company named Jeonsu Foods. Fate makes him reunite with a senior intern who was actually his superior when Yol Chan started his career. Although the drama series has an overall comedic feel, there are scenes with emotional portrayal from the cast as well. Ka Yol Chan himself undergoes a significant character development in the series, and we can see Park Hae Jin's hard work in showing this change in personality. We can be happy for his work to be appreciated with the Dae Sang, and we hope he will continue to show us excellent performance in the future. If you are interested to see Park Hae Jin in other series, he recently played roles in Forest, Man to Man, and Cheese in the Trap. The Best New Actor Award was given to An Bo Hyun for his role in Kairos. He played as So Do Gyun, a manager in a construction company which is also the subordinate of the lead character Kim So Jin. In the story, Do Gyun has an ambiguous personality and as the story goes on, the viewers will understand that he is more than meets the eye. He will be involved quite deep in the story and play an important role in the plot. An Bo Hyun himself has started his acting career for a while, and recently gained attention for his role in Taiwan class as Jang Gun Won, the heir of Jang Ga Group. Other recent series where he played a role are Her Private Life and Hide and Seek. Kim Hye Jun received the Best New Actress Award for her role in the series Chip In. She played as Yu Bit Na, a nurse student who is also a daughter of a famous painter. In the series, Bitna is dragged along into a family conflict as his father is dying and many other family members aim to get his wealth. Ironically, Bitna is the least interested in his father's will, but she will need to get involved as she is an important member of the family. Kim Hye Jun is at the early phase of her career, and we can expect her to play more roles in the future. She also starred in the miniseries Kingdom, both in season 1 and 2 and she also recently played in the drama Matrimonial Chaos. Congratulations to the award recipients in the 2020 MBC Drama Awards. The other awards from MBC are as follows. Nam Gung Min received the Grand Award for his role in the series Hot Stuff League. He played as Baek Seng Soo, the new general manager of Dreams, an underdog baseball team based in the countryside. He led several sport teams before, with a unique record. Every sport team he managed won the championships, but disbanded afterwards. Hot Stuff League is an interesting drama which focuses on the day-to-day -day operation of a professional sport team, and Nam Gung Min delivered an excellent performance there. We can see Baek Seng Soo tackled various issues related to his professional and personal life with the help of his trusted co-workers. Nam Gung Min has been in the industry for a while, and he has also won several awards in his past roles, and many will agree that it is about time for him to receive the Dae Sang. He recently played a role in Doctor Prisoner, Distorted, and Good Manager. He also stars in Awaken, which is currently airing. The Best New Actor Award was given to Jo byung Gyu for his role in the drama Hot Stuff League. He played as Han Jae-hee, a staff in the operational division of the professional baseball team Dreams. Jae-hee is an important supporter to the reform happening in the team, led by the new general manager Baek Seng Soo. Jo byung Gyu succeeded in delivering a playful yet passionate character which strengthened the team's management. He has played in several drama series, and is recently given a lead role in the series The Uncanny Counter, which is currently airing. He also played recently in the series Hardal Chronicles, Sky Castle, and Radio Romance. So Ju Yeon was chosen to receive the Best New Actress Award for her role in the series Doctor Romantic 2. She played as Yoon Ah Rum a hard-working 4th-year emergency medicine resident working at Doldam Hospital. 
In the series, Aram is a cheerful and friendly doctor who treats everyone fairly. The character is also known for her emerging love relationship with Park Eun Tak, a nurse who works at the same hospital. So Ju Yeon is in the early phase of her acting career, and it is expected that she will be involved in more projects in the future. We can see her next performances as the main character in the drama Love Struck in the City and A Love So Beautiful. Both series started at the end of December 2020 and is currently airing in Kakao TV and Netflix. Congratulations to the award recipients in the 2020 SBS Drama Awards. The other awards from SBS are as follows. For the KBS Drama Awards, we would like to highlight the domination of the long-form weekend drama once again. The series tells the story of Song Family, with aging father and mother and their four children who have families of their own. With 100 episodes, around 35 to 40 minutes each, the series explores its many characters in enough detail, and it managed to captivate viewers with a story that close to the daily life of a Korean family. Each character has a distinctive personality, and each also has something interesting to tell. It is a refreshing take of a family drama with a reasonably quick pace of storytelling. Once again, dominates the KBS Drama Awards by receiving 24 nominations and getting 16 awards in the event. Desang, Top Excellence Award, Excellence Award, Best Supporting Actor and Actress Award, Best Young Actor and Actress Award, Best New Actor and Actress Award, Netizen Award, Best Writer, and Best Couple Award are the awards whose recipients are related to once again. It is also successful commercially as the series record high ratings for its episodes. We can see it as a testament on how weekend long-form drama series receive much love from the viewers. If you want to see the series, KBS provides the episodes of Once Again in its official YouTube channel, KBS World, and almost all episodes have subtitles in English, Chinese, and Indonesian language. Congratulations to all the recipients of 2020 KBS Drama Awards. The complete list of recipients is as follows. 2020 is a good year for Korean drama viewers, and we hope there will be many good series coming in 2021. See you in the next video.